it is not interesting at a point for all of us to it's not interesting to be alone at 1000 if you're alone at 1000 you not you cannot build with anybody and a lot of us are happy to be at 1000 and to leave everybody at 10 and they're happy to leave everybody at 10 because they're scared that somebody will come and take their chair and it comes to a point where what you have to learn to do is understand that when you are at 1000 if there's another 10 people who you know are good people and they also have 1000 if you are 10 people at 1000 it means 10,000 if you are worth 10,000 you can do way more together than all by yourself and if you are alone with your 1000 and everybody else is at 10 when you want to do something together then you are at 1090 and this is a point of view and this is a way to think other cultures have this way of thinking everybody has theirs but what has made me a little frustrated in um, with what's been going on right now is that I've seen all of us rise up for the American blacks but I don't see each other doing the same thing for the African when there's something that happens in Africa a bomb that explodes something eh, then it's like oh poor them poor Nigerians or oh, poor Beninois or oh, poor but we don't come together like they come together and the worst part is we all follow them and we all come together with them and the question is not the competition of the suffering the competition the, the question is how America and even in the way in their suffering they are privileged and understand what I'm saying in their suffering they are privileged that they, they in a country that control the world media they in a country that control all the social networks outside of China they are in a country that control the media because the CNN's and the the MSNBCs and, and, and all the, v and the YouTubes and all the things that you see around the world are controlled by Americans. So when black Americans suffer, all of us who grew up listening to American music and, and all of us who are called world music and not R&B or hip hop, whatever, we view them as superior in a way and i'm happy that i i didn't go live three days ago because i would have been more um, angry in the way I, and i would have not explained myself well because i come from love i, I, I don't i come from a elevate elevation of mind i don't come from a why why them and not us but we have millions of people who die every year in central africa in sudan in all of our countries and nobody stops the internet to put black tweeters black photos and decide to stop the internet for them we got millions of women raped in congo every year and nobody stops the internet for them and it makes me sad and it makes me feel some type of way because i don't want to ruin the party 
and I don't want to I don't want to be I don't want to be seen as somebody who comes and talk about something else when everybody decide that we have to talk about one subject but sometimes I want to tell to the same everybody's that you guys want the whole world to only talk about your subject our subject is not a new subject you are part of our subject because you have been looted from Africa you part of the persons who've been taken from the motherland you've been taken and been there you and you suffering there but those same people who used to colonize us they still have our art in their museums they still have all their companies in our soil who are still deciding what is the price of our agriculture what is the price of of our minerals are still funding all the wars for us to kill each other and then sell them the coltan and 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 then because they are part of a country that control the media of the world one of their dead is worth more than a million of hours and uh i'm not complaining i'm just saying it is time for us to all arrive to a thousand all of us kenyans nigerians america Congolese, etc. So that when we have something to say, it resonates the same way that when they have something to say, it resonates. It is important that we learn from this moment and that people like me who have a different vision of the world don't feel like what is going on right now is like oh look at this emulation of now i look at everybody that is following as followers hello yara i don't i look at these them these people as yeah you follow you follow the lead it is time for us to be able to follow our lead and to be able to be treated as equals when they need us they will say yo yo guy you guys as as powerful as us we need a change please come with us <laughs>